Hi Q, season two, episode sixteen. We're so close. He's determined not to be Hinata. Whoops. Didn't even know. Yeah, they took a timeout, which is a t terrible sign usually. But we're so we're so close. I feel like we got this. We got this. It's too little, too late. They're just not organized enough. I don't believe that they would let this team win with their strategy of just pure chaos. I, mean, I think the significance of this team is that there's something really important to take away. Something they do well, which is just really enjoy what they're doing and like be living in the moment. You know, like having actual fun. And then there's something to learn from them based on what they are not doing or what they're doing wrong, which is what Coach Ukai said about. It's only once you've achieved a certain level of basic mastery that you can have any fun at all. Otherwise, you're just kind of floundering around. So I feel like this is a clear win for Karasuno. Episode 16, next. The manager end up ending up being the spirit of the team in this one. Right, right, there it is. There it is. I think that's the takeaway. What is their plan for this? Right, 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 okay. Nice. Oh, wow. Why did I feel like it neutralized that so well? That's kind of disturbing. Now he's having fun in a new way. It's just so much fun watching them play, like, the fact that he jumped over his teammate. If they're not blocking him, there's something else he can do, right? There's some other way to play that. Like a soft touch. Or just perfectly timed strike. Uh, two more while we're at it. If he gets too blindsided by this, then... Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. Right, right. If he gets too, too tunnel visioned and wants to just blast it through them, they'll figure that out. There you go, soft touch. There it is. Now we know. Now we know the counter. <laughs> that is no longer disturbing. At the last point of the last match. For the, the second time ever in their lives, trying this out. <laughs> I don't know, there's a, there's a nice virtue in that. Would he overdo it? Yeah. They lost both. <laughs> both rounds. Trying that move. Experimenting with it. Yikes. I still love them though. I mean, like, give them credit for their spirit. Yeah, but now it's hard to pretend you're having fun. You're not going to be the last one on the court, after all. I guess you got to win to have fun too. She deserves a promotion. To what? I don't know. <laughs> Coach. Promotion to coach. Not assistant coach, just coach. On to the next. That was her last game, I think. Oh no, she's terrified. You gotta give her a proper send-off, come on. You know she's hurting right now, too. God, that's gotta be so frustrating, like you put so much into a team that... You don't even really control the outcome. You have to watch other people play, and it all falls on their shoulders. Nevertheless, you're a huge part of it. That's really, I was going to say bittersweet, but it's just kind of bitter. I get what you were saying about the team, though, because there's something really endearing about watching them play and have fun. Yeah, Alright, now who's next? Hey, hey. I thought she was going to just skip them and go to Hinata. I don't know. I don't know. I think I can see it through it now. He's just a, a big softy. Oh, so soft and cute. <laughs> He's looking forward to it. He's been thinking about it this whole time. Wakunan. 
What's their deal? Is it uncommon? I guess it is. We haven't seen that, right? Yeah, I think like the only problem is like sometimes there's just meta information that kind of tells you the outcome. There's no way they build up for Date Tech and Alba Josai and greatest team of all time. And we get to none of those because of a new team that gets introduced. You know what I'm saying? So I guess the question is, what do we learn and take away from this team in our quest to become the ultimate omnivores? <laughs> I love how we all know who that referred to immediately. Well, with Daichi's leadership, what do you expect? We got a soccer dad. Soccer family. I don't know, I feel like this is great. Well, okay, it depends on the direction. I would love it if I had a family member playing a sport. I would definitely support as much as I could, especially if it was a like a championship tournament. Not sure how I feel about my family being there to watch me play sports though. I think it'd be cool actually. I feel like that would just be another one of those things that you get pre-jitters about, but then once the game starts, you're not thinking about it. Why? Why did I not play sports in high school or college? <laughs> Oh, speaking of family. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I feel like she could outdo the other guy's whole family. Are you allowed to drink at these games? <laughs> okay, that Haikyuu fan service that I didn't ask for. <laughs> the beginnings of the games are always the most nerve wracking, and also the middle, and also the end. There we go. There we go. Certain victory. Oh no, is that a little bit too invested? Both teams seem to respect each other. Oh. Interesting. Cool outlook. Yep. That's Ojosai. Uh, they compared them to Nekoma, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's both of them. The team that reacts the most, or is forced to react the most, probably loses. Yeah, yeah. It's a new era for Hinata, and a new challenge. It's like proof that he's made it to a new level, but it means new challenges. He's been in the zone a couple times this tournament. Why was that so terrifying? Wow. It's tough. It's like pump fakes in basketball. I feel a setup here. Oh, what? That was intentional. Damn. Why did that never even occur to me? Oh, interesting. And then I kind of meeting like a shadow form of himself a little bit. They keep doing that. And they took the lead. He's targeting the out. It's terrifying, yeah. But that's a skill for Hinata to learn, Hinata to learn right? There you go. That wasn't too far off. He just also seems a lot more experienced than Hinata. He's more in more of a leadership role. Oh, they see each other. Maybe this is a future vision of Hinata as like captain or something. That'd be crazy. They're playing their odds, yeah, maximizing their chances. Yeah, there's also Asahi, they're focused a lot on Hinata. There you go, ooh, that felt good. <laughs> I love his pride, his pride as Asahi, that's so great. Nice. Daichi very, very subtly, like, anchoring everyone, keeping an eye on their, their emotions. Huh? 
Hey, hey. Speaking of emotional management, that's uh, that's one way to do it. Now I'm imagining, cause he... Jurassic Park. Now you're speaking my language. Ah, uh, he is a true student of Jurassic Park. My respect for him just went up a thousand percent. I wonder if he too would list one of his biggest movie idols as the Jurassic Park Velociraptors. Because when things look the bleakest for them, trapped by a, a fence, no potential mates, they never let that stop them. They just kept throwing themselves against that electric fence until they found a weakness. And then they got out and they ate that Australian guy. Also, somehow they found a way to reproduce. But anyway, what I was going to say was he, he seems like a, a combination of Hinata's play style or, or skills, but with Daichi's management or mind. And that's giving me ideas for the future of Hinata because this is the last, probably last arc with the third years. And we got a very young team. You could imagine the, the freshmen rising into leadership roles pretty quickly. Like, it seems like they're kind of far off in a sense because they're kind of young and raw. But imagine Hinata with three years of experience and Kakuyama, for that matter. Right, right. In Daichi, we trust, as always. They just going for it. Going for it. Oh, damn, that teamwork. Oh, no. They, oh, no. Are, did they just collide? No. No. All the... Wind just deflated out of my sails. I'm horrified. I didn't want that to happen. I really hope this is a fake out. I want Taiji to be on the court. I mean, this is very realistic, right? Because things happen. Oh, but in his best moment, he was shining. It, it was like finally a super Daichi focused episode. Because, you know, I've always been a fan of Daichi since the beginning. To see him, like, be the spiritual leadership anchor of the team and be winning on his account just felt so good only for it to end in potential tragedy. I think best case scenario, maybe he sits it out for a game. That would be okay. But like I've said a bunch of times, a lot of the way I'm personally connecting to the, the stakes of this tournament are the third years because like Hinata and Kageyama, they're amazing and it's their first year. They're going to go on to have massive success. Daichi spent his whole life kind of as an underdog not be being able to taste this feeling, this spotlight, despite it really seeming like no fault of his own. And through it all, he kept a positive attitude and worked really hard and stayed captain of the team, dedicated himself to something where most people would have probably quit or, you know, made excuses or took a step back. He was always there. So that's one of the things I want to see the most is him like experience this and optimally get a victory. So to see him get injured is just, just gut-wrenchingly painful and I hope that gets resolved in a positive way or else I might, I might die. <laughs>